What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a current favorites kind of video. I just finished up my last final exam. I'm in such a good mood. I'm feeling so relieved that my freshman year of college is done. It's over with. It's crazy to think that it happened so fast, but I'm in a chit-chatting mood and I decided that today I wanted to sit down and share some of my current favorites with you guys. I upload a favorites blog post to my blog style by mckenzie.com every single month. Month, but I go really in depth in those blog posts sharing what music I'm listening to, what TV shows I watched, what my favorite outfit of the days were, what my favorite outfits that I styled for the blog were, beauty favorites, my goals, all that jazz. And I don't really get to just talk about specific products or like specific pieces, so I figured this would be a really easy way. I will leave links to as many things that are still in stock as possible in the description bar below, so make sure to go check that out. Or if you're looking for something in specific or want to hear the rest of my favorites, head on over to the blog. So let's hop in. Okay, so I only had a couple of beauty products this month, and the first was actually pigtails. I know that's super weird, but I've been wearing pigtails a lot this month. You guys have probably seen if you've been watching my daily vlogs, week in my life of vlogs. It's a great way to wear third day hair. I've been like out of dry shampoo, so whenever my hair is looking a little greasy, but I'm like, it's raining, I'm not leaving the house, I'm not filming. Um, I have been letting my hair just wait it out because it is so good for your hair and training my hair is really important. Um, so pigtails have been a must, but my other favorite hair related thing is the GSQ by Glam Squad Volumizing Texture Spray. I talked about this last month in my favorites and I love this stuff. I got sent this as PR like a month or so ago and this stuff smells so good it's very tacky for a texturizing spray like most texturizing sprays are pretty wet like the not your mother's which I do love but I love that this is tacky it's more of a hairspray kind of feel to it and it just gives your hair so much volume believe it or not I have really thin hard to style hair um, and it falls really easily. I don't have a lot of volume, but this stuff really is a lifesaver. So you can grab this at CVS, I believe. I'll leave it linked below, but I've been loving that. I've also been loving this self tanner. I've used this twice now and I know that that doesn't seem like a lot to talk about, but I love this. I mentioned it in my Instagram stories the other day. This is the Sunless Perfect Glow by Melissa Weinberg. This is in the shade Light to Dark. I don't really know what that even means, but basically you put this on. So I, this is how I did it. I showered, I exfoliated, I shaved, whatever. I got out of the shower at about 8 p.m., put this on all over with a tanning mitt. You have to have a tanning mitt with this because it's like brown. When you put it out, it looks like brown poop, literally. And you spread it all over your body and you're instantly darker. Like it's crazy. So then you wait between one to four hours you can sleep in it, I have slept in it, but just be prepared to be very, very, very dark the next morning. Um, so after, say, four hours, you will hop in the shower, you will rinse, your water will run brown, like it'll be straight brown. And don't use soap or anything, get out of the shower, pat yourself dry, put pajamas on, go to bed, and then in the morning you will smell, the tan will develop. All self tanners do this. If it says it's no odor, it's lying. All tanning stuff has odor once it develops, just not when you put it on. Um, and then in the morning I just took a shower with like soap you know, to get rid of the smell, and it looks awesome. All right, moving on to some fun accessories. My number one favorite this month was my cowboy hat. This is from Shein. I honestly got this because my sorority alpha fee was having a quick little date party, and I needed a hat, and I picked it up. It comes with, like, a silver thing around here, but Lauren wore it on Halloween and lost it, so I don't have that part around it. This is, like, five bucks. It's not, like, a real cowboy hat. I really want to get a real one for my birthday, so... Leave your recommendations below because I think I look so cute in it. But anyways, I've been using this a lot for styling purposes. I feel so cute, fun, like I love this. And I am a little Western girl at heart these days. So love this. I've also been wearing clear glasses a lot. A lot of you guys asked in my Boohoo haul for me to leave the link to my clear glasses and they were sold out. This pair of clear glasses is in stock though. So I'll leave these linked below. I get all my glasses from Discount Glasses. I do not have a prescription, but they can fill a prescription if you need. I like these ones because they've got gold along the frame, which I think is really chic. These are super, super cute. A perfect size on my face. I like when they're a little bit bigger, but not too overpowering. I think clear glasses are really fun with just your joggers look, or of course, if you do actually need to wear glasses, these are great too. 
Um, I've also been loving um, accessories, like just jewelry in general, guys. I have learned the power of accessories this month, and I'm going to do a video all on it like how you can transform like a basic look with the power of accessories, shoes, like a purse, whatever, because a lot of you guys have been asking for it. But I got this set of four necklaces from Shein earlier this month and it is so good. It can comes with that chain. And I, what I love about this is all the necklaces are separate. That way you can like, you don't have to wear all four of them together and you can kind of decide how long you want each one to be. So I've been wearing this one on its own a lot. It's got like a little pendant right there that has a saint on it, but I just like it. I love the look of gold chunky jewelry. A lot of the bloggers I've been following and YouTubers have been, you know, really on that trend. So that's what I love. These are some of my favorite gold hoops, only $2. Mine look a little funny because my clip-on backs are on them. So these look a lot cuter if you don't wear clip-on earrings, but these are like normal, st um, you know, like stick earring. That's not what they're called, but like normal earrings with like a post on the back that you stick into your ear. But I have the clip on backs on them that I did myself. So love these. They're the best and so cheap. I've also really been loving purses and specifically my clear purse. I know not everyone likes clear purses, but I love them. I have like five of them now and I don't know. I just think they're so fun. They're perfect if you're in college and or you're going to be in college and you need something to bring to games. This one is from Romley. This one still is in stock. I just have my lanyard and like a bunch of random stuff in it right now because um, I used this a couple days ago. This also comes with like a little crossbody strap. So this is probably the perfect size to bring to a game if you're looking for one. I've also really been loving my cow print purse this month. This has been so fun to style with. I haven't worn it out yet, but I love the size of this and I love the shape. This is very 2000s-esque and I think it's so cute. I love anything cow print. I've been wearing a lot of it this month and this is just really well made. I love this one. This is from Shein as well. And then my other favorite this month has been straw. Like anything straw, I love straw accessories. I think that they're so beachy and... Once I like fall in love with something, I become like really overkill about it. Like last year when puka shells were first becoming a thing, I got one puka shell pair of earrings and then the next week I like was wearing a necklace, earrings, um, bracelets, and an anklet all with puka shells on it. Like I just have no chill. Like if I like something, I have to go all out with it. So I love straw bags. I have a few of them. I have this circle one from Sandra Morgan that I love, but it's old and they don't carry it anymore. So I'm sharing this one with you guys because this one still is in stock. This is from Shein. I just love it. It's got that circle ring that's really structured right here. There's nothing in it right now, but this is a great beach bag for just like your cover up, sunscreen, a water, a snack, whatever. I think it's a great size and I just love straw bags. They're amazing, like I said. And to go with my straw bag, like every time I've been wearing a straw bag, I've been wearing these shoes. I'm not sure if these are still in stock. I will look and leave them in the description if they are. These are from Chinese Laundry. I got these last year. I know these aren't everyone's style. Some people will say they look like patio furniture, but I love these. They are a super, super comfortable heel height because they are so thick in the wedge. I think these have great support to them and they just look like this. Super cute shoe to wear with dresses. I love dresses once it gets warmer out. You guys will start to notice over the next few weeks that I just am always wearing something like I'm wearing a dress, I'm wearing a skirt, I'm wearing a romper, jumpsuit. It's very rare that I do wear denim shorts. I still wear them sometimes, especially when I'm at the baseball field, but for the most part I do like, you know, something free I guess. And with that usually comes a fancier pair of shoes, so heels, wedges, platforms, something like that, just to elevate the look a little bit. So I think these are great, especially with that kind of purse. Speaking of shoes, I've also loved these white lace-up heels. Some of my favorite outfits that I styled over on the blog this month were with these shoes. They are a great pair of heels. Whether you need a pair of like dressy heels or you want a pair of casual heels, these really can do it all. I know that I will say this is a really comfortable heel height and some people may disagree, but I'm used to wearing heels, so this is like a pretty standard height for me. I could make it through the day in these pretty easily. These are about three inches tall. They're white, they lace up with like little braided straps and these are just adorable like I said they really can do a lot and I've styled them a bunch so if you're looking for some outfit inspo make sure to go check out the blog my last like accessory favorites is pretty general and it's just belts I've been loving belts 
pretty much this whole year I've really realized how much they can transform your look and they really do just like take things to the next level and specifically western belts have been my favorite this month I have tons of them I'm only going to show you a few today but I get all my western belts in belts in general from Shein or Romwe they're like five bucks if that and they just can do so much for your outfit this is one of my favorite ones to use for styling purposes it's really really thick and chunky silver and it's got like studs all around it and a really like cool buckle along the side i love this for wearing with an oversized t-shirt dress belting at the waist just anything where you need to accentuate the waist this is awesome for that so this is a good one and then I also just picked up this one not too long ago and I love this one. It's like elastic in the back and you like it's kind of hard to put on. You can't really fit this one through belt loops but the rest of them you can. Um, I just put this like over the belt loops and then you put it on like this and it will be like that double buckle in the front. So cute, so chic. And like I said, I've really been on that Western kick lately. Just really inspired by, I think part of it is because I did my final project for my fashion tech class on a a trend a wgsn future trend for autumn slash winter of 2020 21 and it was called country calling and i was obsessed with it i did my whole final project on it and so i've been really into western stuff because i've spent the last few weeks researching writing papers creating mood boards like stuff like that and just designing a clothing line around western inspired fashion so i've been really really digging it just in my own personal style as well this is one of my favorite belts because it's like western but like a little more laid back a little more casual this is like a light brown tannish snakeskin and got that really big gold buckle to it that's just so cute and i love wearing the, that belt with these boots um, I wasn't planning on showing you guys these, but I love wearing these two together. I'm not sure if these boots are still in stock. If they are, like I said, I will leave everything below. But these are a great height. I love these boots because they can go from the fall to the winter to the spring pretty, pretty easily. I styled these in my... Um, festival outfit ideas the other day with a pair of jean shorts a tank top and that buckle belt for like a country concert outfit and it was adorable if i had a country concert to go to right now i would 100 percent wear these because you got that closed toed shoe ap action happening but they're still super cute you know and they kind of give off that little western vibe to them if you want because of the pointed toe so love these my last favorites um fashion wise are my these jeans so I used to be a diehard skinny jean girl like I would only wear skinny jeans and I have dozens of pairs of jeans because I wear them all the time but I don't know in March I did like a little denim refresh and I picked up like six different pairs from Express and now this is like the only style pair of pants I've been wearing these are the cropped flare high-rise jeans from Express I think why I love these more too is because they're high-waisted and a lot of the other pairs of skinny jeans I have are more of that mid-rise that's just not as flattering on my body shape so this is my favorite pair by far they're like I said that high-rise fit they're just the perfect denim wash if you're looking for like a mom jean straight leg yet like don't yet like hug your butt kind of look this is a great pair of jeans like I don't really know how to explain it but like they kind of give off a mom jean vibe yet they're not like drowning you to the point where you look like you don't have shape if that makes sense so I love these they're great I've been styling them like crazy and they've got raw hems to them which is the cutest little touch so I've been loving that pair but I also just recently picked up this pair and these are the straight super high rise in a double zero i wear a double zero in all of these i believe and these ones are high the first pair i showed you are high rise but these are super high rise and these are straight legs not that cropped flare so these are not as fitted throughout the whole leg yet they still do hug your butt but i love these they're a little bit darker than this wash right here a very true denim these really remind me of a levi's fit to them yet a little bit softer more comfortable pair of jeans like that's why i love express jeans they're so comfy and the bottoms look like that like i said so i've styled a bunch of these pants on the blog this month so if you guys ever need outfit inspo you can head over there to check it out or follow me on my instagram because i do share all the outfits over there as well um and i also grabbed those first pair of jeans in black i grabbed them in two pairs of dark wash a white a black in like a purple and here are the black i've been wearing black jeans still a lot in the fall and winter i was wearing black jeans like 
three out of seven days a week at school i was always wearing them and every time i went out because black jeans are a must if you are headed to college soon invest in pairs of black jeans i have a pair of skinny black i have a pair of cropped flare back black i have a pair of um like a medium wash black i have a pair of ripped black flare black like I have every kind of black jeans you could need and i think that they're awesome because i'm always reaching for them because they are a college must so that's something else I've been loving. So that's pretty much everything I have to show you. The rest of my favorites are like curated outfits that I've put together. So if you want to see the outfits, whoa, I've been loving, you know, head on over to the blog. But I did want to mention my Spotify playlist. Usually in my blog posts, I share a couple of favorite songs, but I've had so many favorite songs this month that I actually just linked my Spotify playlist. I will link it for you guys below too, if you care. I only listen to country music, really. I mean... Occasionally I'll listen to other stuff, but for the most part I really do just listen to country So if you're not into that, you know exit out now, I guess but I had some songs to share with you guys because I've been you know loving it so my favorite album ever is John Party's California Sunrise like every song on that album just goes so hard My favorites this month from it are Cowboy Hat, Lucky Tonight, and California Sunrise I've loved More Than My Hometown from Morgan Wallen and then this random song by Tyler Gummersoul? I don't know if that's how you say his name. I've literally never heard any of his music until this song. It randomly played on my Alexa and I loved it. It's called Kiss Me and it's so good. I listened to Drinkin' Problem by Midland probably 750 times this month as well as Feathered Indians by Tyler Childers. 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 I don't know but really good. So if you care about my music I'll leave it below. But anyways, um, that's going to be all. Just wanted to chit chat with you guys. Hope you all are doing well. On Sunday, I will be uploading a week in my life. The only reason I didn't have more videos up this week is A, because I didn't have any clothes to haul for you guys because my Shein packages are a little bit delayed right now. And B, because it was my finals week. I just finished up my fourth and final, um, final exam. <laughs> did a couple projects knocked out those last assignments but i am all yours now that it is summer i'm so excited to create some more content for you guys I had an awesome month um blog wise youtube wise instagram wise and i'm so excited it feels really good to watch some of your hard work pay off so thanks for sticking around guys i will talk to you in my next video bye guys